Do you have a friend who says things like unzip, strip, touch, finger, grip, mount, and FSAC? Either he gets laid a whole lot or he's a Linux user. So what is Linux? Okay, let's start simple. You're familiar with Windows and Mac OS. Well, another operating system is Linux. Now technically, Linux refers to the kernel. You can think of a kernel as a base structure or framework that an operating system is built around, while GNU Linux refers to the whole package, GNU software plus the Linux kernel. But just know, everyone simply calls it Linux. So how is Linux different from Windows? For starters, Linux is open source. This means that anyone can help contribute to the development and anyone is free to modify and redistribute the source code. As a result, there are many operating systems using the Linux kernel, such as Ubuntu, Chrome OS, and Android. In fact, you can find Linux running on many things such as ATM machines, government facilities, NASA, Amazon, Facebook, and Google all use Linux in some way, most web servers use Linux, and even some cars and animated movies use Linux. The development of Linux is very fast, thanks to the many contributors from all over the world. A new kernel is released every three months. Compare that to at least every three years for Windows. Also, Linux is typically more secure than Windows due to how it manages account privileges. What about Linux and Mac OS? Well, this gets a little complicated. You can say that Linux and Mac OS are distant cousins. Without getting into too much detail, know that Mac OS uses a kernel called Darwin. This kernel is based off of BSD, which uses Unix. See, everything began around a system called Unix. AT&T, of all people, created the system in the late 60s. It wasn't open source and had to be licensed out to different companies. Linus Tavridge, the creator of Linux, comes along and creates a kernel like Unix but without using any proprietary code. This gets dubbed Linux. Mac OS makes use of BSD, which again used Unix. So indirectly, Mac OS uses Unix, which is the grandfather to Linux. Like I said, this can get a little complicated. Okay, so if Linux is so great, why isn't everyone using it? Well, two big reasons. Compatibility and user friendliness. Think about this. I use Windows for my primary operating system simply because all my software, namely Adobe Creative Suite, is only compatible with Windows and Mac. And while Steam does work on Linux, you're not going to find many of the latest AAA titles available for Linux. And finally, I hate to admit it, but Linux is not that user friendly. You're often going to have to do some research and figure a lot of things out for yourself. So guys, there you have it. That is a quick look at Linux. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to head over to Twitter and follow me at DavyBen. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks. Oh, <laughs>